Alfred Munnings from stall two and away pretty well with Alza here as they begin on the first day, first race of the final day of Royal Ascot 2022. Finn's Charm going forward very keen is Dark 30 in the purple sleeves. They're trapped by Crypto Forces. Alza here takes a definite lead now racing freely in the lead under Frankie de Tori. Back in behind the leaders, blue sleeves of Sunningdale, Purling Path, uh, then Crypto Force, far side the Foxes, One World in a pink cap, followed by Legend of Xanadu, towards the rear Faisal Road and uh, Holloway Boy is the back marker and Lakota Sue is off the gallop as well. It's Alza here that spearheads the field, tracked through by the favourite Alfred Munnings. On the left in the nosebend is the Foxes. Finn's Charm, Dark 30, Purling Path in close company, followed by Crypto Force. Then Lakota Sue, One World on the extreme right and then Faisal Road and Alza here only narrowly now as Alfred Munnings draws a lot closer as they approach the two furlong marker and purling path coming there very strongly in the striped sleeves and it's purling path that comes through to lead the way under david egan and ryan moore's in trouble on alfred munnings then lakota sue finn's charm the leader purling path committed pretty early leads by two lengths two on the far side alfred munnings purling path running around a bit holloway boy on the near side running an amazing first race and beginning to get up on his debut holloway boy lifts the chesham first time I'm out. Purling past second, Lakota Sue and Finn's charm. And there are Finn the Jersey Stakes. Al Flayler missed the break by a few lengths. Find wasn't particularly quickly into stride either. Manada got away very well. The blue and white striped cap with Dubai Poet well to the fore. Takarib Bay, Dubawi Legend just over on the far side. The near side group, free going Noble Truth is leading the way to Rocky Gianni in second on this side. Followed by Samburu and Frankie de Tori. Stargirls Al Mal in the green, the gold of Tuscan. Hello You is well back with Al Flayler and Michelet Mass towards towards the rear. So it is uh, Noble Truth that has the initiative as the field come onto the stands rail in one group. They've completed three furlongs in the jersey. Noble Truth is leading Manada. Rocky Gianni is just in behind, followed by Samburu. The white-faced runner is Dubai Poet, followed by Dubawi Legend. Audience, the Chiefly Park colours on the left, trying to get a bit closer. Twa, my son, a white jacket, purple cap as the field run down towards the two here. Buick asking for more on Noble Truth. Frankie's getting there on the inside on Samburu is making a good looking challenge Dubai Poet in the centre Samburu Noble Truth Find is running on in the maroon looking for an out as they approach the final furlong switching now David Egan Noble Truth battling back at Samburu Find in the clear with Dubai Poet down the outside Noble Truth keeping on strongly here in front chased all the way by Find as they run close home very gutsy indeed Noble Truth makes most to win the jersey to Find Dubai Poet finishing strongly is Stargirls Al Mal and then Rocky Gianni. And they're off. Hurricane Lane jumping out pretty well. Broom is sticking out wide early. Ryan Moore not joining the other runners in the early strides. And it's solid stone from Hurricane Lane. Broom is wide. Mostadaf living legend back in fifth place. A gap of a good four or five lengths to Lafayette then. And away he goes at the back of the field. And visually it's looking a pretty good gallop heading down the hill towards Swinley Bottom. So solid stone nearest the rail. Hurricane Lane a little wider. Much wider is Broom in the grey and white checks and the white cap. They're chased by Mostadaf and Living Legend and Lafayette. And in the noseband at the back is Away He Goes. They're about to enter the final mile as they swing right-handed towards Swinley Bottom. Solid Stone and Broom. And now Broom is pressing on in a briskly run Hardwick Stakes from Solid Stone. Hurricane Lane always switches off well in third. Then Mostadaf, Living Legend behind these, followed by Lafayette and Away He Goes. Swinging on right-handed and now meeting the rising ground inside the final seven furlongs and Broom has come across to lead from Solid Stone, just racing off the inside running rail a little bit here Hurricane Lane is third, still weighted with in the hands of William Buick as, con as Broom continues to try and stretch them out heading towards the final five furlongs behind Hurricane Lane is Monster Daff, Living Legend, Lafayette and away he goes, so heading on now towards the final half mile and Broom pretty well committed here, leads by three and a half lengths 
to Solid Stone. Hurricane Lane in third place. Monster Daff inside the four. Then Living Legend Lafayette and away he goes is still at the rear. They race towards the final turn and heading on towards the three furlong marker and it's Broom and Ryan Moore now just begins to push along urging him along from Solid Stone. Hurricane Lane is pulled out wide by Buick then Monster Daff followed by Lafayette wide away he goes and living legend Broom still leads the way Hurricane Lane on his first run of the season sent after him not at the moment quite getting there then Monster Daff and Solid Stone Broom keeping up the gallop as they race inside the final furlong it's Broom by three or four lengths to Hurricane Lane getting a bit tired Monster Daff running on down the outside but racing up towards the line Broom is a south sire and he's absolutely relentless and he wins the Hardwick from Mostadaf in second, Hurricane Lane third, Solid Stone for fourth. And they're off in the £1 million Platinum Jubilee Stakes. Double or bubble away pretty well. Highfield Princess is showing speed and Campanelle as well as Home Affairs towards the centre of the picture. Near side, Campanelle leading Emirati and a Highfield Princess and Home Affairs is blazing a trail on the near side under James MacDonald in the dark blue. Followed by Naval Crown Dragon Symbol Kingsland. Gustavus Weston, Garris back in that group. On the far side, the extreme left is Minzal, followed by Grenadier Guards with alcohol free in behind with path to freedom and also diligent harry sacred is towards the back artorius will need to pass everything and creative force also with plenty to do they've come past halfway running down towards the two on the near side it is still home affairs that heads this group on the far side grenadier guards is making quite good headway highfield princess in there campanelle is being driven along double or bubble they're struggling a little bit on the near side over on the far side minzal is finishing pretty well with creative force as well campanelle in the centre, double or bubble. Highfield Princess, the near side, Naval Crown on the rail, Creative Force, the far side. Artorius is staying on powerfully, and the centre, Creative Force, the near side, Naval Crown, tight. Tight between the Godolphin pair, Naval Crown and Creative Force. Artorius was storming home. And they're away. A very bad jump from um, chairman of the board who has unseated the rider, leaving the starting stores. And beginning well, Black Rod in the red jacket, Apollo 1 going forward along with Dubai Station. And they're tracked by Lampang in the striped sleeves and first folio. Right up the stands running rail is Mr. Wagyu from Black Rod and Popmaster. Then Royal Commando, followed by Prince Lancelot and Jumbie. And all of them congregating towards the stand side on the outside of the group. Uh, chasing them up is uh, Urban Beat and then towards the outside of these quarantine dreams as they race on towards the final uh, two and a half furlongs and I think I was wrong about chairman of the board who's there with them as they race to the final quarter mile now and Apollo 1 leads the way from Lampang Black Rod and then in behind those is Dubai Station First Folio is trying to stay on Prince Lancelot and Jumbi as they race on to the final furlong Mr Wagyu and Popmaster down this near side both doing very well. Jumbi stays on Black Rod. And then from the back, Rohan is threading a passage through last year's winner. Coming through very late, Rohan to grab Jumbi. And up to the line, Rohan doubles up in the Wokingham under Ryan Moore. Potmaster on the near side of Jumbi. Then Mr. Wagyu, followed home by Sum again, staying on First Folio and Black Rod. And they're off for this Golden Gates handicap. And beginning well on the inside with the white blazes, Trojan horse, Hunnerton in a black cap goes handy. Tollard Royal in the dark blue cap, sweeping out wide bushfire. And they're followed by Knightswood and missed the cut. And blue trails on the inside and a pink cap pervade is a little bit worse than midfield and the red cap on the inside falling shadow. And then as good as sober gets with Groundbreaker and Ryan Moore in last place on Sun King, having had to start from a wide outdraw and has dropped in behind runners. Meanwhile, Tollard Royal is racing very freely around Swinley Bottom as they make this right-hand turn. Tollard Royal with chasing, sweeping, Trojan horse on the inside, bushfire towards the outside, then Huntington. Knightswood remains handy behind these leaders, followed by Miss Cut as they continue to climb. 
and then looking further back to Falling Shadow, as good as Sober gets in the ruck as well. Sun King is just manoeuvred now towards the outside in the rear of the field. Groundbreaker right out the back. Blue Trail is now in the second half of the field, just ahead of Falling Shadow, making their run towards the home turn. Uphill inside the final half mile. Tollard Roar from sweeping in second. Then on the inside, Trojan Horse. Bushfire Handy. Purple Jacket in fourth. They're followed by Knightswood. Missed the cut is making smooth progress, followed by Harneton and Blue Trail and Pervade. Then a couple of lengths to Falling Shadow, as good as Sober gets. Groundbreaker, Sun King with plenty to do down the home run. Tollard Royal went very quick in front, beginning to struggle, beginning to paddle, sweeping, coming through Knightswood, and here's missed the cut, and missed the cut, takes over, just edges right, didn't do Knightswood too many favours, but he's away. Missed the cut by two lengths to Knightswood, down the outside, as good as Sober gets. He's running on well from Pervade and out very wide, Sun King, but missed the cut is clear. Four, five lengths clear, stretching away, and missed the cut wins the Golden Gates. In second, as good as Sober gets, Sun King ran on to finish third and groundbreaker in fourth. And uh, they're off the final race of Royal Ascot 2022. And the 12 runners in the Queen Alexandra Stakes get a, a tremendous cheer, starting at the beginning of the straight mile with Dinard Rose well to the fore in the early stages. Rashoon is up there along with the white-faced runner calling the wind. Second in this 12 months ago. Holly Dole, the orange cap on Nate the Great, is close to the pace and is followed by Wordsworth in more gloomy conditions than, than one could have imagined for those that were here earlier on in the week. Timor is held up at the back of the field by James McDonald. Single is also towards the back. Stratum is just worse than midfield. The blue and white hoop cap, horse who won this race last year. Falcon 8 is just tucked away on the inside following the mayor, Dinard Rose, with Urban Artist in midfield. The white spots on a black jacket sticking to the inside as they complete their first half mile is Master Milliner. Timor is at the back, and the back marker is a Highway Companion. So Holly Doll looking across on Nate the Great. A, a spare ride for Holly, and now just taking over, just coming across. Wordsworth is on the outside. Ryan Moore, who's already been crowned the leading jockey at the Royal Meeting for a ninth time after Rohan's success in the Wokingham. And Wordsworth is in second position with pulling hard on the inside of that one, calling the wind. And uh, Dinard Rose still following Nate the Great with Falcon 8 in behind that one. Rashoon on the outside, followed by Urban Artist and Master Milliner single. The light green and pink, Stratum with two behind, and they are Timor held up over this longer trip today and uh, Highway Companions. The field come up to the line with one more circuit to go in the Queen Alexandra Stakes of 2022. And it is Nate the Great, the Henry II Stakes runner-up last month, that leads the way. Ryan Moore has got Wordsworth close up as they head into the turn and approach their final one mile four furlongs. In third position is Dinard Rose, Falcon 8, calling the wind on the outside of that. And then last year's Ascot Stakes hero, Rashoon, the grey colours ahead of Master Milliner, and then Urban Artist and Single, Stratum and William Buick with just two behind, Highway Companion and Timor as they now run down the hill and head towards Swinley Bottom. Nate the Great with what Wordsworth on the outside, second in last year's Queen's Vase, with uh, calling the wind following, hasn't really settled that well under David Egan, with Andrew Slattery and Dinard Rose following Nate the Great, Rashoon and Richard Kingscott next, and then last year's Chester Cup winner, Falcon 8, under Tom Marquand. On the outside of that one is Urban Artist and PJ McDonald, with Master Milliner next in the field, no move yet from last year's winner, Stratum, single, and then James McDonald on Timor, and finally, Callum Rodriguez on Highway Companion. As the field approaching, now their final mile and reaching Swinley Bottom, and it is still Nate the Great that holds the initiative, but Wordsworth applying a little bit of pressure on the outside, almost matching strides. Nate the Great just to Wordsworth. Dinard Rose is in third place, and they're being followed by Calling the Wind. Still on the inside is Falcon 8, Rashoon is there on the outer, then Urban Artist, Master Milliner, as they run back towards us now. 
And then singles towards the back with Stratum. Highway Companion and Timor is still right towards the back of the field here. Inside their final three quarters of a mile. And Wordsworth is just being encouraged along on the outside and is injecting some pace here under Ryan Moore. Holly Doyle is hard at work now on Nate the Great on the inside. And then Dinard Rose calling that the wind is held together, followed by Rashoon and Falcon 8. Urban Artist. Buick's just getting at Stratum at the back of the field with a a fair bit to do from where he is, as still hard at work. Nate the Great on the inside of Wordsworth, and they are side by side, turning for home, about to run inside the three. Wordsworth just to Nate the Great, calling the wind is in third. Rashoon, Urban Artist, is making some ground on the outside. Then Falcon 8, Dinard Rose losing her position. Then Stratum. Wordsworth has won the battle with Nate the Great, calling the wind, though, is poised to mount a challenge. What will he find? Rashoon down the outer, diving towards the inside. Is Falcon 8 and Wordsworth is being pressed on all sides now. Calling the wind, Rashoon, Falcon 8 on the inner, Stratum staying on. Running inside the last furlong, Rashoon gets to the front from calling the wind. Stratum staying on strongly on the inside. Last year's Ascot Stakes winner, Rashoon in front, but Stratum is gaining with every stride and Stratum defends his Queen Alexandra crown. An inspired ride by William Buick. Stratum wins to Rashoon, calling the wind in the frame again and then Falcon 8.